What's up, everybody? It's Catherine from Chakras and Cuss Words, and I'm here to do a deep dive in the birth chart of Britney Spears. So many of us love Britney. We really have seen her grow up in front of our eyes, also her being in this horrible conservatorship. But lately, it seems like Britney's kind of been on a healing road of recovery, of finding herself, and really finding who she is. Brittany has recently got married and it just seems like she's on this better path. But let's take a look at what her birth chart says. As we could automatically see with Brittany's chart, most of her conjunctions and transits are all on one side, appearing to be a what is known as a bowl shape chart. This is not good nor bad. This just really means that there is a lot of focused energy on certain areas of her life. We automatically see that Brittany has a huge Sagittarius aspect about her. Her sun is in Sag, her Neptune's in Sag, Uranus is in Sag, and also Mercury. This really helps her with her expansion and also her creativity and her being very much fundamentally able to create who she is. What also stands out to me is her rising sign as being a Libra. I feel like many of us see Brittany as a fun, loving Libra energy. And also her Chiron was in retrograde, which was also at 23 degrees in Taurus. Some of Brittany's trances that really stand out to me is the Venus squared Jupiter and also the Venus squared Saturn. To have these both areas squaring together really lets me know that she has been in this constrictive ways where her expansion has not been able to really live in its full abundant state. She also has a Venus opposition north node, which is affecting her in areas of the here and now and also her higher destiny of self. Venus trying Mars lets me know that it's always feeling like a constant battle, especially as she is trying to live in her love and her pure energy of her divine state. Brittany is a Libra rising. As we know, it is ruled by Venus. And as we see right here, she has Saturn and Pluto in her first house. She's going to always have this battle where she isn't able to transform into herself. And there's a lot of constrictions with it. Brittany's going to have a long journey of finding her own free area for a very long time. Another thing that really stands out to me is in her eighth house, she has her Taurus, which contains her Chiron at zero degrees, which lets me know that she's going to get frustrated with this journey. Much love to you, Brittany. And I know many of us are thinking about you and hoping that your healing journey continues.